Good morning, Sergeant. Hey, Barn. You look wonderful. Oh, I've been up all night. Bojo, <laughs> we have discussed at length many times the need to keep a proper balance between your job here and the more romantic aspects of your life. Uh, wasn't all that. <laughs> what else will you do? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Try. We'd appreciate the effort. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, uh, it's just something I saw. <laughs> something you saw? Yeah, out on Staten Island. Something you saw on Staten Island? Yeah, uh, well, not exactly on Staten Island, more like all over it. Wojo, wh what did you see? Not sure. You're not sure, but it kept you up all night? Yeah, well, uh, you know, of course it did. Thinking about it. Wojo, what is it you saw? Some kind of spaceship. <laughs> Roger, you want to you want to talk in my office? Yeah, good. <laughs> you gentlemen have important work to do. I trust. <laughs> okay. So I left the house about uh, four a.m. because uh, I knew that I had to go to work in the morning. Very conscientious. <laughs> okay, I was driving along, just before you get to the bridge. All of a sudden, I heard this strange sound. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. Spaceship? No, no, my tire. I mean, I must have run over a nail or something. I don't know. Mojo, please get on with this. All right, yeah. Uh, so, so I pulled over the side of the road. And I got out and started to change the tire. And I saw it. These red and blue lights. Just, just over a field, about a quarter of a mile away. That could have been anything, Roger. Could have been the, uh, the, the bridge. It could have been a reflection on the water. It could have been a television tower. Uh, I, that's what I figured. But, you know, it was real foggy. I couldn't tell for sure, so I, I walked over to take a closer look. And? <sighs> they were on this thing. It was just hovering over the ground. I mean, it was... Uh, you know, about, about oh, 15 feet across. And it was uh, kind of silver metal color. And uh, it was shaped like a... Saucer. Cigar. Cigar. <laughs> and I started to move in a little closer, and it just sort of slipped away. And I started to move a little closer, and it slipped away. <laughs> and it just disappeared in the fog. That's it? That's it. <laughs> what are you looking at, Levitt? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just watching to see if the bathroom was free. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. I was just for future reference. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, Dietrich did some checking, and uh, no, nobody else uh, saw anything, uh, so, uh, yeah, why, why don't we just let it ride? <laughs> I mean, uh, there's be more trouble than it's worth, don't you think? Good idea. <laughs> Captain Wayne Dimely, U.S. Air Force. Hey. <laughs> You received a report this morning of an alleged UFO sighting? Yeah, uh, I called the Air Force. Really? I must have forgot to you. Tell must you must have forgot to tell me. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I'm Captain Dimely. Captain, I'm, uh, Captain Miller. <laughs> I'm looking for a Sergeant Wojowitz. That's Wojowitz. Roger. Roger. Uh, could we talk someplace a little less busy? You can use my office. 
Thank you. We talk in there. <laughs> So, uh, so then I tried to get closer to it, and, uh, it just sort of floated off into the fog. That's it. Oh, that was a very vivid narrative. So what do we do now? Well, you see... There are approximately 2,500 reported sightings of UFOs every year. Oh. And our job is to try and properly classify them. That's what? Well, we've found that most of these sightings fit into one of four basic categories. There are those sightings subsequently discovered to be man-made objects. Natural or otherwise explainable physical phenomena. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then there are those sightings which at present there is no explanation for. Yeah. Then there are those which, well, they're discovered to be hoaxes. Uh-huh. And then there are those sightings which are discounted as made by persons who are determined to be mentally unstable or possessing of schizophrenic or psychotic tendencies. Where do I fit in here? Where do you think? Well, I know what I saw. All right. You see that I've got it all down accurately. Large, cigar-shaped craft, silver metallic surface, flashing lights. That's right. You sure you didn't see anything else on no. it? No. Markings, insignia. Good year. <laughs> Well, I uh, just put in a call to my division chief. They're going to check a few things. Call me back. What, uh, what things? That coffee looks real good. Oh, well, help yourself. Here you go. How long have you been uh, doing this uh, kind of work? About three years. Must be uh, relatively interesting. It's been very uh, entertaining. <laughs> I, what I meant was you probably get to meet a lot of different kind of people. Not really. They're pretty much the same type. <laughs> um, uh, on the both side. Mm -hmm. There was a deputy sheriff down in North Carolina that I talked to last month. Oh, it's uh, described. Well, then, then it's, it's not all that unusual or fantastic. Then he was beamed aboard, <laughs> hypnotized, put back down without any clothes on. <laughs> that didn't happen to you, did it? <laughs> Look, Buster, so maybe you think I'm some kind of psycho nutcake, huh? I and everybody thinks this is real funny? Well, I don't really give as good as anyone else's, you know, and I know what I saw. So stick that one in your cap. What was his rank? Sergeant. That's all? I know how you feel. <laughs> Wojo not back yet? No, sir. Afraid he's still unaccounted for. Maybe he backed off proceeding with the investigation. Not likely, Captain. Ex-Marine. Captain? Yes? <laughs> that was the Jersey State Police. They got over half a dozen calls this morning. Poor Wojo's. Oh. Of course, we can't rule out mass hysteria. Of course. Do you mind if I use your phone again? Sure, you can use this one. That one? Oh, unless this is uh, top secret. No, no. That'll be fine. I'm back. I see. Who's he talking to this time? Superior. It appears there was a complication. That's right. Half a dozen other people in Jersey seem to have made the same sighting you did. Great! <laughs> or, not that it matters that much to me. <laughs> there seem to be several corroborating calls coming in, sir. Large, cigar-shaped craft. Metallic. A what? I can't tell them that. <laughs> yes, sir, I understand, but... No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Goodbye, sir. Well, gentlemen, 
I believe we've uncovered an explanation for this incident. We have? Hmm. It's been learned from the National Weather Service that last night there was an atmospheric observation craft over the Staten Island area at the time in question. A weather balloon. A weather balloon? A weather balloon. <laughs> Wasn't no weather balloon. Let's just try and keep an open mind on this. <laughs> I'll be going back to my office to file my report. Uh, we appreciate you coming down, Captain. It's my job. And if there are any uh, further developments uh, in this incident, I hope you'll come back and tell us about them. Of course. We'd love to see more of you. <laughs> Good day, Captain. Yeah, I'm what I mean about a weather balloon. I mean, what a crock. <laughs> Keeps people happy. You know, more and more people are becoming convinced that there is other intelligent life in the universe. And they recognize the possibility that these creatures may have already made exploratory journeys here. Oh, yeah? Some also believe that these aliens have already entered our society and at this very moment are living among us. <laughs>